Hi everyone, it's Anne here again. What I have here is two little pieces of ephemera and I'm going to make them into uh, little fabric samplers. Just put those over there and you're going to need a couple of pieces of card that are the same width as your ephemera. I've already cut these, that's about that width and that one is about that width. So we'll do this one first. I've already scored a line across the top so I can fold it over. You're going to need some scraps of lace like these. You don't need very big pieces. And the first thing I'm going to do is put some fabric on the bottom of the card. I'm just going to attach it with some um, glue stick which really doesn't do very well with fabric and paper. Glue stick's not the best at sticking but for this job it's good enough because you just really want to keep it in place until you put the staples in. So I've got the glue stick and I'm going to use, it's not quite big enough, got a bigger piece here. side of the lace. Stick that down. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim around the edges. Okay. Now we've got that there. Now if it encroaches over your fold line, you can just trim that off so it's not too bulky where the fold is. Okay, now we're going to need some other colours. I want something that's going to show up. So I might use a little piece of the cream. And here I've got some little um, labels. I'm just going to pick a couple of them and maybe is that one and that one together and I'm just going to attach them with a stapler okay that's one bit done so that will go there and I need another cream piece piece of lace but that's too wide but we can make it fit. If it won't fit, make it fit. Like that. It will go there. So I need a wider label at the bottom. Step on my finger. Okay. Now, when you've got your little pieces ready, attach those with your stapler. This is so quick and easy because there's not much gluing. And if you used a pattern paper instead of a lace at the bottom, there'd probably be no gluing at all. Like that. 
Now if you haven't got little labels you could make your own with stamps. Okay we've done the base, now I'm going to use this for my top. I'll fold that over. Now, that's a little bit big so I'm going to fold it over there and again I'm going to staple it. Now, if you look at fabric samplers they're all stapled together so these don't look out of place, they look quite authentic because of all the staples. And there we have one piece done, quick and easy. We move on to the next bit and again I'm going to put some lace on the bottom. So I use the glue stick. Another scrap of lace. This one will do fine. Okay, so that's the base done. Now, what am I going to put on top? Um, got these nice blue ones. How would they look? Don't they look nice. I've got three different blue ones here. We might use them all. That one and that one. Yes. Okay, so for the first one. I'm going to cut it off here, get a little label for it, uh, what have we got, could even use two, that's the first one. Second one. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got suitable labels, as I say, don't be scared to make your own. I'll go there. And this one. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, and I'll just fix those on with the stapler at the top and the staples will be under the fold. You will actually see these ones. I can't believe how quick it is not having to use glue and waiting for it to dry. Okay. Something on the bottom there. Oh, I like that one. Taking a little piece of ephemera, going to attach that to the top.
and we're done. How quick is that? I like those. I think they look really cute. Uh, now you don't always have to have a card backing. Some that I just used lace for. Like this one. And I I had another one. Yes, here. These two. Just used a strip of lace. Um, just show you. Piece of lace. Little label for the top. And the label for the bottom. There we go. Quick and easy. Alright, these are some that I made earlier. Not much of a muchness. It's just a nice one. Alright, there we have it. I think they look great together. And they were so quick and so easy and using up your scraps. What could be better? Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have fun making yours. And I'll see you again very soon in the next video. Have fun. Bye for now.